Hi, I'm Kenny Joya. Welcome to another one of my tutorials. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a stuttering vocal effect in Reaper. I have a project in front of me here with a vocal track. Let's see what it sounds like. So I want to show you a few different ways of creating a stutter effect with this vocal. The first way is to select the item, then go to the action list, actions, show action list, and then type in, in the filter, split. And there's an action right down here called split items at timeline grid. And if we choose this by double clicking it, it's going to split our items based on our grid. In this situation, I have the grid set up to quarter notes, which isn't as useful for this vocal. So let's switch it to something else. Undo. We'll right click in our grid. And let's switch it to 30 second notes. Go back to the action list. Choose that action. Split items at timeline grid. Double click it. And now it splits the items to 30 second notes and puts a crossfade on each split, which will make it sound more natural. So now all we have to do is delete some of these items. Let's delete this one, this one, this one, and this one. Now let's hear that. Oh, 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 oh. Let's do the same thing over here. Let's delete this one and every other one here. And it sounds like this. Or we can create more complex patterns if we want by deleting items to create patterns. Now, another way we could do this is to copy the first item on each note. Let's go to the next one right over here. Let's delete this one all the way over to here. Let's take this piece and let's right click it and glue it so it's a separate audio file. Now we can just redraw it, control on the PC, command on the Mac, and create a pattern like right here. And put another one over here. Let's delete a few more. And just keep drawing any pattern we want. Let's hear that. When I usually do things like this, the stuttering effect, I'll add a filter on top. So let's add a track plugin right here. Let's type in low pass. There's a plugin right here called Resonant Low Pass Filter. And I'll adjust the frequency all the way up. Make sure I select this one as the last touched parameter. Show the track envelope. Then we can automate it. Just for this section, hold down shift and create a point here and here and put one in the middle and just bring it down all the way to the bottom. So now create a filter just for this stuttering section. So we can create our own patterns on the fly. Now, another way we could do this is to trigger a sampler of our vocal pieces. So let's start over right over here. Let's zoom in on this first piece. Oh. Let's split from here, hit S to here. Let's select this piece. Now let's add a sampling plugin using the Reaper plugins called Resamplematic 5000. Double click it. We'll add this audio piece right here. Import item from a range. We could check it. Oh, oh, oh. Let's turn on obey note offs so it'll respond to the duration of our notes. Let's switch this to note 
semitone shifted. So we can play a melody with different keyboard notes. And now let's trigger it from a sequencer. Double click over here. Let's type in Mega Baby. There's a sequencer right here called MIDI Sequencer Mega Baby. Let's put it before our sampler. Double click it so it floats. Let's move this so we can see A3 right here. Then we can play in our stuttering vocal effect. Just put in some notes. Then we can just create any pattern or sequence that we want right from in here. Let's put two notes here, a few notes higher right here, which sounds like this. Then go lower for a few notes. Put another one here, and then build up chromatically from here to here, and then back to the A. And we could shorten the notes with a note length right here. And create any pattern that's triggered by that vocal. And we could also filter this as well. But there's one other way that I want to show you. Let's go back to the beginning. Let's add a plugin to our vocal track. Let's type in avocado. There's a plugin right here called Avocado Ducking Glitch Generator. If we open this up, it's going to automatically, by default, create a really cool stuttering effect. Let's see what it sounds like now. And we can adjust things like the buffer or the length between 64th notes, maybe 16th notes. Or 32nd notes. Or we could adjust the probability of modulation, reverse, fade out, or just the threshold of where the effect takes place. And because this effect is random, it's a good idea to print or render the results and just choose the best sections that you like. So anyway, that's how to create a stuttering vocal effect in Reaper. Hope you learned something, hope you can use it, and I'll see you next time. Thanks. Mom.